Well then, we're very nearly at the end of the evening, but before you get on to give you your publicist something to cover up tomorrow morning, it's time for this year's Godlike Genius. To introduce our final climactic award of 2012, please welcome the editor of NME, Chrissy Murison! waiting for. Tonight we celebrate a man who has written more anthems in the last two decades than anyone else, who has graced more of our covers than any other musician in our entire history, and who has as much star quality off stage as he has on it. His songwriting has defined a generation and the fact he keeps pushing boundaries as a solo artist proves that there's still a very long way to go in the story of one of the most talented musicians that Britain has ever produced. Every so often a band comes and changes the musical landscape and the whole industry has to sit up and listen. And Oasis was one of those bands, and that was because of Noel and his writing. People love him because he wrote all those songs, you know. Then those songs became a huge part of people's lives. They made you believe that you could do anything you, that you wanted to do. You know? little by little, gave you everything you ever dreamed of. I think a lot of people related to those songs because they were, I guess they were about being young, not having much money, but, you know, having the feeling that there was a better life somewhere. Oasis couldn't have come from anywhere else but Manchester. I think in the north. There's a certain bittersweet quality to what they do. They're probably most of the songs when you've said, I wish I'd wrote that song. There's a camaraderie within those songs that obviously is there. I mean, a, a part of the joy of an Oasis gig is the audience. And uh, 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 I mean, I've never heard singing like it. not been that long since Oasis split and he's straight back out on the road. He doesn't have to do it, you know. Noel Gallagher somehow manages to be a beautiful, articulate poet, a wordsmith, a musician that can talk to a generation, a whole class of people that are often ignored in popular music. He's probably taken Oasis to split and for him to go off and do his own thing and I think he's gone into a different realm now and I, and I think he's, for me personally, he's right, he's matured. He's still, you know, looking for new ways to develop and evolve and that's another sign of an artist's durability, is to con continually do that. He's not making the same record. There's lots of people who get called geniuses who have only made one record, you know. But Noel's kept writing and he's prolific and um, he's in it for the long haul, you know. I love Melody and, and uh, Noel's kind of uh, you know, one, of the, one of the masters of that. The fact that he's stuck to plaintive, honest songwriting, he's not trying to get too complicated, he's not really thrown the kitchen sink at anything, he still writes simply and beautifully and, and I think he's got a great singing voice as well. It's not something that's often said about him but I think he's got a lovely voice. If I had a gun, I'd shoot a hole into the sun love would burn this city down for you. I'm sure that Godlike Genius is something he's applied to himself in the past anyway so it's just confirming his uh, suspicions I'm sure. He's a hero to the generation because he's able to articulate something that's very, very difficult to say. He's very funny, he's very witty. He really does believe he's a dog's bollocks. 
No one deserves his godlike genius award. Um, oh, because that's what he is, right? a very special guest. It is an honour to have him here. He is the legendary lead guitarist from the Smiths and these days the only person in the room, Joey Barton, doesn't want a head but Would you please welcome Johnny Ma! Thank you. Well, 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 well. Uh, what can you say after that? has already been said about the winner of this next award. Um, he is obviously loved. His songs are loved. But how about this? He makes what he does look a lot easier than it actually is. He makes it look really easy, right? It fucking isn't, right? And that takes a genius and, or some genius. When I first met him, I thought this guy is really, really great. Uh, but who would have guessed that what he would have gone on to achieve. It's kind of mind-bending, really. Where would we be without him? So, here he is, the Godlike Genius Award. It's my pleasure to give it to Mr. Noel Gallagher. That tune was actually playing, which did in fact fucking freak me mum out. I'd like to start by saying to all the people up there who bothered to buy, who bothered to buy a ticket or a CD, and more importantly, a T-shirt, because that's what fucking counts is the merchandise. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. All the people down here who ever cited me as an influence, you are fucking welcome. You are welcome. I'd like to thank Johnny. It was the first person outside of Oasis ever to show any interest in what we were doing, which has always stayed with me. And I'd also like to thank the enemy for still giving a shit after 20 years. Thank you very much. Two thousand. 